All right, first grade friends. To start off this project, you are going to start with a square piece of paper. You, of course, of course, of course, are going to get a pencil and write your name and class code first. That is always the first thing we do. Then I'm going to flip that over so my name is on the back. I am going to make sure that I have my paint shirt and my table paper. Make sure I have a big table paper, big enough for my paper and my space. Then you will have your own paintbrush, but then you are going to share a tray of paints and your water bowl with your table. You also need to have a paper towel. I like to fold mine up a couple times. There we go. So I have my own paintbrush, my own paper towel, then I'm sharing my paints and my water with my table. So since we just learned about dot day, we are going to do a project about dot day. So I'm going to start by picking a color I want to start with. I think I'm going to start with orange. And I'm going to make a dot in the center of my paper, just like that, okay? Once I've done that, then I'm going to rinse off my paintbrush. Swirl, swirl, swirl. I'm not splashing my water, I'm just rinsing off my brush. Then you wipe it on the lip and test it on your paper towel to make sure there's no more color in your brush. So you can tell since it's just water and there's no paint, then I'm good and ready for the next color. I think I'm going to do blue next. So with my blue, I'm going to paint all the way around that orange circle. I'm trying really hard not to go into my orange because I, I don't want to mix my colors too much. If it happens a little on accident, that's fine. You can see I got a little tiny bit of orange in there but just on accident. I didn't do that on purpose, but that's okay. So now I have my blue. I'm going to go back and wash my brush, making sure not to splash. Swirl, swirl, swirl. I'm kind of swirling along the bottom of the water bowl. That kind of helps scrub it off. Then I'm going to wipe on the lip to wipe off that extra water. Test it on my paper towel. Oh no. I have a little bit of blue still on my brush, so I'm gonna go back, rinse, 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 wipe it off, and try again. There we go, clean brush. Now I can pick my, pick my next color. I think I might do pink. I'm going to do my next color just right around that blue. What we are making here is actually a pretty big word. It's called concentric circles and it's circles that are on top of or inside of other circles. So you can see, I'm not trying to blend it in with my blue, but if I get just a little bit in there, that's okay. There we go. Now I'm going to rinse off my brush. Trying really hard not to splash. Wipe it on the edge, test it. Good job, I'm all clean. And I think I'm going to use purple for my last color. Now I'm going to fill up the rest of my paper with my purple. And this is why we have our table paper. So if we accidentally go off our paper, it's okay. It doesn't get on the table. All right, and I'm all done. My paper is completely filled up with color. There is no white space anywhere on my paper. 
I'm going to make sure my brush is really cleaned off really, really well. Just like that. Oh, I still have a little bit of purple in there. Clean it off a little bit better. I'm going to make sure that I have used four colors. I want you to make sure that you've used four colors. So if you make your circles too small, you might have too much extra space on the edge. If you make your circles too big, you might not have enough room for all four colors. So make sure you're spacing out your circles so you have enough space for four colors. So you can see I did orange first, blue second, pink third, and purple fourth. So I have four. You can do any color in any order that you want. The, you can pick any of these colors. There's pink, purple, orange, green, blue, red, and yellow. There is white in here, but I do not want you to use the white. I want you to pick four of any of the other colors that are in there. Once you are all done, you are going to walk your painting very carefully over to the drying rack. Make sure your paintbrush gets into the green bucket beside the sink. Make sure that your paper towel goes in the trash can, your table paper gets folded up nice and neat and put back with the table papers, and your paint shirt gets put away as well. When your table is finished with the paints, make sure to put them on the sink, not in the sink, but on the counter next to the sink. When you are done with your water bowl, you do the same thing, put it next to the, count, next to the sink on the counter. That's it. This is our dot day project.